pretty glitter. I love that. Welcome back, everybody. So Halloween is right around the corner, and here to show us how to make DIY trick-or-treat goodie bags is the perfect person for this project. <laughs> Because you love treats. I love the treats. <laughs> yes, and so do kids. And yeah. so I wanted to come up with some really fun ideas for this Halloween because, you know, the kids are in school, they have soccer, so many things. And this is, these DIYs are a perfect way to pass out the treats for if you're, you know, really ambitious at your house or also for the events you have this uh, this coming Halloween. So and you make can them see festive. here, I have three adorable ones. Oh, we have, I know, the little scarecrow right there, oh which goodness. actually would good, be a good transition into Thanksgiving. It's something you could do there. The cute little, uh, the, uh, the ghost theme ones. Which are clear, I love that. Which are clear. <laughs> and of course, the little witch's hats. And she got really fancy this year, so we have fancy She's a fancy witch. witch. She's, She's fancy. got bows on her hat. Show us how to make it. So are those clips? They are clips. Look at that. So I can show you how they work. They kind of clip on and they clip off oh, just that's like so. Cute. So you could use these on any kind of bags that you want. Say, and you could use them later if you were like going to do a party. You could put them at the place settings. Oh, do you hey. know what I mean? Look, okay. okay. All right. Show us how to make these little hats. Okay. So which what we have here for these? This is a little circle stamper thing, and I'm going to show you how to use that. Okay. And I have some sparkly scrapbook paper. You could just use plain black paper as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that. I found really just plain black uh, clothespins at the craft supply store. If you cannot find the black, you can paint them. They are gonna be covered, but I do find that the black kind of, you know, with if you're using that color. It blends. It blends nicely. And uh, we'll have some ribbon, of course, some candy in your little bags, a glue gun, and some scissors. You're gonna be the most popular mom at school. I try. If you show up to school with these, all yes. right, how do we do it? <laughs> okay, so this, have you seen, you've seen these before, right? They Where have they, hearts and yeah, different Yeah, they things. have different shapes, but they're really simple, so if you're making a lot of these, what you want to do is get something like this. To be honest with you, cutting a circle is extremely difficult. And Probably these, one of the hardest things to do. All you do is that. Do. So you can see just like that. If you want to do one, Deb? Yeah. So you can see just how easy it is. And so for this one, I was trying to figure out in terms of sizing what I wanted to do. So this one is three and a half inches. They also make one, oh. I believe, that's two and a half inches. Uh, and it's absolutely the perfect circle. And what it's you incredibly can do is you satisfying. Can start, yes, this is an investment, but you can use it for a bunch of other different uh, pro oh my products. God. And okay, in a, you we have our assembly line here, so we have obviously our circles. All right. And this is where you... <laughs> I'm a professional circle yes, cutter Yes, you now. are. So you can okay. see how, how quickly you can make all of your yeah. circles. Okay, so then you just want to cut the top of the hat. So we have our triangle here. Did when you freehand that? I did freehand that, but the tip with this one is once you cut one, you want to line pl places on your paper so that they're about the same size. So you okay. could freehand, you really could use a template if you wanted to as well. And take your little guy here and just put a little bit of hot glue, okay. just like so. And I like using hot glue because it's like instant gratification. Right. You know, you can, it's gonna dry super quick and put that on both sides. Okay. And you could do different colored hats if you wanted to sure, as well. Sure, make her even fancier. You could make her super fancy. Okay. okay, so for the base of the hat, I have my circle here. What you wanna do, this is my tip with this, I tried to do like another punch and it didn't work because it made it too big. And uh, so what you wanna do is figure out where you want it to fall on your hat. So put your hat up, so I want it to be about here. And you can mark those sides with this. I just kind of use my finger because it makes it uh, kind of chip away at right. the little glitter, glitter that's on there. And use your scissors. And all oh, you do you is do that so carefully, obviously, because you're cutting, you know, towards your fingers. So go around like that. And it might take a little, a few different cuts to kind of get it perfect. But all you do is pop it through like so. Oh, this is adorable. And you have your hat. Oh my gosh. So what I you want to do that. is go in and use some glue and glue on both sides. So I have okay. one done that's right here. Now what so about I'm our bows? That out. I mean, you could leave it like so that. See, it's super yeah. cute. But... And you see, it works like that. Do, do, do. Yeah. So we're making her fancy. Yeah. What about our bow? She's fancy. So we have our bows here. Honestly, you don't have to worry about getting anything uh, too like crazy for this, but the, the themed ribbons are really fun. So I have my glitter, and this one here, all you do is just tie and it. And where like, are you getting this ribbon? Just at the craft store? Yeah, craft store. You can okay. go to Hallmark store. We have super cute <laughs> ribbons there. You can get it at Alexandra's dresser. Exactly. The bows that she wears in her hair. She has the cutest <laughs> bows, but hers are big. I always do really hers big, are big. bows. I like you could it. You could give this one a big bow, too. And that's it. So you fill up your, your little bag, like oh so, gosh. and you clip it on just like that. Maria. Isn't that adorable? That is, a, oh my gosh, really honestly, that is super cute. It's super cute, it's super easy, it looks really impressive, it looks like you bought them at a store, honestly, they're really, it, just basic and easy though. And not only that, these are great, not just for Halloween, but for really any holiday. True. I mean, you could do this for anything. I, I think I would, if I were you, I would do it for 
Your birthday. Oh my gosh! What is this? This is you. Have a pumpkin spice latte at us. Happy birthday, Maria. Oh, this is for you, honey. Oh my gosh. That's supposed to be you. That is me. <laughs>